Breaking from overnight, hundreds of people gathering outside the nation's highest court for hours. Some reacting in disgust, others in support of a new report that appears to show the Supreme Court will overturn Roe v. Wade. Politico says it has a leaked draft opinion that five justices signed, siding with the state of Mississippi. This is a case challenging this landmark ruling. Roe v. Wade has protected a woman's right to choose to have an abortion for nearly 50 years, but that could all change soon. Christy Diaz is breaking down the latest information for us coming in from overnight. Christy, what can you tell us about this? We see this has people on both sides really emotional. We knew the reaction to this would be quick, and it has. This is only a draft opinion, but if it holds, then women could lose their federal right to abortion by the end of June. The reaction has been swift on both sides of this polarizing topic. Let's look at some reaction from some Georgia lawmakers. Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock tweeted, as a pro-choice pastor, I've always believed that a patient's room is way too small for a woman, her doctor, and the United States government. I'll always fight to protect a woman's right to choose, and that will never change. David Perdue, on the other side of this argument, who's running against Brian Kemp for governor, tweeted his reaction, saying, when I'm governor, Georgia will be the safest place in America for the unborn. Now, neither Governor Kemp nor the other Georgia Senator John Ossoff has posted a response yet. It is important to note this is only a draft and justices could and have changed their minds before the final opinion comes out, likely sometime this summer, but it is still making major waves. Here's the CEO of Planned Parenthood. We will see uh, 26 states move to ensure that we no longer have control over our own bodies. If this holds, then that means states would have complete control. And another big note here, this ruling could impact local efforts to ban abortion. Georgia's six-week abortion law signed back in 2019 has been tied up in the courts for two years now. The judge is now signaling they'll wait and see how the Supreme Court decides. Now, the Supreme Court's final decision is expected to come out sometime in late June, early July. Guys, back to you. All right, Chrissy, thank you. We know this is definitely one of those topics people want to see how their lawmakers are weighing in. So we'll keep posting those responses on 11alive.com.